Howdy folks, uh, welcome to today's tutorial looking at the graphics calculator and trigonometry. Um, the good thing about the, the graphics calculator with the trigonometry, you've got two different options. Um, at, for any of the questions, you can just use it as a normal graphics or normal um, scientific calculator by using the run mode, um, which, uh, which we'll obviously look at very, very briefly. Um, so obviously, you know, if you've got something where you need to find um, you know the value of let's say 1040 we simply type in 1040 equals okay and it, and it gets you that amount um, so you just use it as a normal calculator just one thing I will mention to start with if you need to, to write in something like 40 degrees and 10 minutes that's a little bit trickier okay so let's write, write in 1040 degrees and actually we'll say um, 20 minutes so the way we do that is I'm going to write in my 10, I'm going to write in my 40. The problem is you don't have one of those little bubble buttons. Remember, remember the little button that kind of looks like this? It looks like um, a whole pile of bubbles. There actually is one on the calculator, but we just have to locate it. Um, if you press options, you'll see the whole pile of options come up here. If we press F6 to go further across, you'll see options for angles. Now we can press that. The black one is one that we want to use. That allows you to put in a degrees, and we can type in our 20, making sure that you press it a second time, just like your normal calculator. Now we can press Enter, and that puts us as in 0 0.84. That calculates it for us correctly. Um, if you're given a value, um, let's say you'd ask to find the angle or something. So let's say we're going to do shift um, 1081 of 0 0.8. Okay, 0 0.85. Now this won't be exactly right because we're rounding that up. Okay, and it gives us an answer of 40.3. If we were asked to give that in terms of degrees, minutes, and seconds, then we press the white one. And you can see it puts that, that, that in um, correctly for us. Okay, so that's just very briefly using trigonometry and, and the run mode and look at locating our button there for, uh, for degrees, seconds. So again, for degrees, you might want to write this down. We press the option button. F6 to give us more options. And then angle. Okay, and that will get us there again. So just very quickly, um, if you want to get out of that mode, usually you press exit. You can see that it exits out, out of that. So again, just to show you, I'm just going to delete that there. If I want to get into that mode, again, we press Option, F6 to get across, Angles, and then those options come up there. Okay. Okay. Now, for the most part, what I want to show you is using the equations mode to solve trigonometry because actually this is the best mode to use because you don't have to worry about when you're finding an angle do you press shift 10 or shift sin shift cos or, or whatever you can just type it in so we're going to look at a very um, straightforward question to start with now I'll look at some right angle trig to begin with so people who are in the year 11 course okay I'm going to look at, at, at finding an angle because just finding a side is just too easy so I'm going to look at this one. Oh, it's actually as easy as anything for both of them. Um, so you get a question like this, and we're asked to find the value of theta. Now, obviously, we know that's trigonometry. It's right angle trigonometry, so we're going to go to our Sokotoa. Bit of a trig review here. Um, we can see we've got our opposite, and we've got our adjacent. Okay, so hopefully you remember that, and that we have, make sure we're using tan. So tan theta equals our opposite over our adjacent. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use our graphics calculator in the equations mode. Okay, so menu, I'm going to scroll down to I uh, till I get to my equations mode. Remember we go into solve equations, we want the solver. And we can just type that in as it looks like. So I'm going to press 10. Remember now my unknown or my pronoun, in this case it's theta, we just press our X button, it comes up as X. We press shift decimal place for our equals. We want to press, do a fraction, so I press my fraction key, 5, and I scroll down to the 8. And now it was a simple matter of pressing Enter. Now remember, when you press Enter, that's the last answer that I had. So I need to press F6 to solve the question, and it comes up there, as you can see, as 32 degrees. 
So theta to the nearest degree would simply be 32 degrees. If I needed to get that in degrees and minutes, what you would have to do, and I can show you that very quickly, just like before we go back into the run mode, I showed you this last lesson. If I want to recall the equation, press X and equals, you'll notice the same answer comes up. And just like I showed you right at the beginning, options, across to my angles, and now I can press my angle button and it gives me as still 32 degrees and it'll be zero minutes anyway. Okay, remember with minutes and seconds, um, it's 30 is a magic key. So if that was above 30, 30 and above, that push up to one, but it's not, so it's okay. Um, okay, so very straightforward e equation there. It doesn't matter what equation you're using for trigonometry, soccer tie, whether you're finding a side or finding an angle, you always enter the unknown using that X key. Um, so I'm just going to show you just a, another very straightforward um, question. So we'll look at uh, one question um, using uh, the sine rule. So I'm going to draw out a triangle again. You can draw these out for notes. Not a bad way to revise um, for our trigonometry. So I'm going to put an, an 8 centimeters, a 6 centimeters, and again I like to find um, a theta. Okay, so remember how do I know this is the sine rule? Well, it can't be soccer tall because it's not right angled. So I've got for sine rule, I've got a side and opposite angle, side and opposite angle. So let's use the rule. We know it's sine, and I'm going to start with theta over its opposite side, sorry, and sine 40 and opposite side. And now it's just a matter of typing that into my equations mode. Again, we want solver, and we're going to type that straight in. Now, I want fractions, so I'm going to put my fraction key. I'm going to press sine, and I want theta, which in this case is x. I'm going to go down to 8. I need to make sure I press across so I can get that big cursor equals. My fraction key again, sine 40 over... Six. I always like to have my x's on top. Okay, just the calculator seems to like that a lot more than than anything else. Remember, that's my last answer, so I need to press F6, and I can put down here now um, for my answer. It's got the answer theta equals into the nearest degree that would be 59 degrees. I could go back and put it into my run mode if I wanted to do it degrees in minutes and seconds. Okay, now there's one last thing I want to show you. There is a slight issue. Um, I've been trying to work on this and figure out what's going on, and I, I just I don't understand why this happens, but I need you to see this. Okay, um, I'm going to give you a, another question, and more than likely it's going to it will happen. If it doesn't, I'm going to look a bit um, a little bit silly. So I'm going to give you a question, and you may want to try this yourself. Okay, so we're going to have. Um, 10, or 10 meters, we'll put 8 meters and 12 meters, and we'll put theta there again. Now, this hopefully you realize this is using the cosine rule. Um, don't worry about it too much if you're in year 11, okay? Um, but th it still is important in terms of the actual equation that we're using. Okay, so we know we should know that it's a cosine rule because we only have one side and one angle. It's not a right angle triangle, so we've only got one option. Because we're following an angle, we're using this rule here. Okay, so we're using um, cos c equals a squared plus b squared minus c squared, where c is opposite the angle, all divided by 2ab. Okay, so that's the rule. So what we're going to need to do, we need to put that information into our formula. So obviously we've got cos theta or cos x equals 10 squared plus 8 squared minus 12 squared, where again 12 is opposite the angle, over 2, two times um, 10 times 8. Okay, so let's put that information um, into the graphics calculator. There is an issue with this, which I'm going to show you. So I'm going to type that in. So we've got cos x equals, oops, sorry, this, uh, this emulator isn't the best. Cos x equals, okay, fraction button, because I'm going to do a big fraction. We've got 10 squared plus 8 squared minus 12 squared. If you've got the older calculator, you might need to 
to put brackets around the 10 squared plus 8 squared minus 12 squared. Uh, minus 2, so divided by 2 times um, 10 times 8. And remember the 8 and the 10, doesn't matter which way you put those around. Okay, so let's have a look, see if it proves me wrong. Okay, we put that into our calculator, it comes up, and wouldn't you know it, it's proved me incorrect. Okay, so it actually has come up uh, as the correct answer of 82.8 degrees, I believe. Okay, um, so that's worked out. If it doesn't, if, that, if your calculator comes up with a different answer, I'm just going to show you something. For some reason this happens, the first time you put this in, instead of putting... Um, cos x equals, okay, I'm just going to show you this, because it might happen on your calculator, hopefully it won't, hopefully it will work the first time, but if it does, if it comes up with a really big number, for whatever reason, what I want you to type in first of all, I want you to type in x equals, because remember, in order to get rid of the cos theta, we need to press shift cos usually, not in equations mode, but, but just for this time, I'm going to ask you to press shift, and then cos negative 1 and then we're going to type that information in okay so shift negative 1 times and then what those brackets we had before okay so that stuff that we had before once you do that it should get you the right answer and then you can try doing it the first way again I'm not going to bother going through it all again because uh, it would be time consuming but if you don't get the answer 82.8 to start with um, try it a second time by doing this method, so cos negative 1, and just type in now your 10 squared plus 8 squared minus 12 squared, etc. That should then work and get the right answer for x. But then I want you to go back and try it the first way by putting the cos x equals, and then you should find that it starts to work after that. I'm not 100% why it does it on some calculators, but hopefully it won't on yours, so that's just up. To double checking, I guess. So, look, hopefully, this has made some sort of sense to you. Um, as long as you have your rules in front of you, you put it in correctly, the equations mode is fantastic, um, can really help you. So, have a play around with it. Um, if you've got an older calculator, again, just play around and make sure that you understand how your calculator works. Um, please try lots of these questions because these are really easy marks. Okay, any questions, please let me know on my website or, uh, or drop me a line at school.